So now I'm going to talk about lenses. We have two different lenses. One is which we call a diverging lens, one is called a converging lens. For the moment, let's look at the converging lens. So converging lens, when we draw them, uh, this is similar like what we did the mirrors, but we draw them slightly differently. Suppose this is the converging lens. Suppose focal lens, again, one centimeter, my favorite number. And object distance two centimeter again you you cannot put on one centimeter and there will be no image and then object height is one centimeter like that so when I do this are lenses I just put L and L prime here and I draw a line almost go through the center of the lens this represents the optical axis so I have O and O prime now I have now you see the, the converging lens. Now this time the lenses has two focal points. One on the left hand side, one on the right hand side. Now it depends where the object is, so you have to be very careful. For the converging lens, if suppose my object put the left hand side, so here's my object, so which is two centimeter, and height is one centimeter, so I'm going to draw one centimeter here. I hope I can catch it. Yeah, okay, just this is the one centimeter, let's call it object A. So then uh, the focal point which I'm going to use is either going to use a left hand side, a right hand side, forgive me. So in other words, here's one centimeter which is over here. So this is my focal point which I'm going to use it. So first ray is the exact same as the mirrors. So we're going to draw a ray parallel. It's not actually two centimeter lens. So start from here slightly. That's the first ray parallel to the optical axis. Now this time the mirrors reflect, but the lenses go through it. So you see the light go through the lens. So this side is all solid lines here. This is a, a number two ray. Number three ray, instead we go through the focal point, this time we go through the center of the lens. There are some textbook use the focal point on the on the optical side to do that but I found this method my method is simpler only have three rays that I needed so this is a ray number three this is a ray number two so I have crossing point again so this is called a prime and this is the image of point a again it hasn't done yet so we need to finish entire things which is over here I draw a line draw a ray uh, starting from optical axis all the way down so now I have the image. So the image is over here. Here's object. So remember, it has to be on the left-hand side of the uh, the of the 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 focal point that you're going to use should be on the left-hand side. And you can try do the same thing. For instance, if I move the object a little bit closer, but never on the focal point though. If it's on the focal point, that will be in trouble because these two rays is going to parallel. Let me show you quickly. If you put an object over here, just one centimeter, like this, so one centimeter, then the, your first ray is pretty much the same, but the third ray is going to be trouble, which is, did you see here? So you're going to object that high. So now you can see these two rays, ray number two, ray number three, these two, is going to parallel. So in other words, it look like this. I didn't draw very well, but you can see that. In other words, if you really put on the focal point, these two, rays are going to parallel, so the image is not existence. So let me show you the, uh, the uh, one example in the next video.